happening right now. We're doing this without the medical evidence, without the testing that the governor was calling for. He spoke out against medical marijuana in New York State. Senator John D. Francisco was outnumbered as lawmakers overwhelmingly approved it late today. We'll take you to the Senate floor with a look at how the debate went down. And the, the secret school meeting one week ago at a highly charged Syracuse school board meeting. Teachers voted no confidence in the superintendent. Today, the key players involved sat down at the table. So what's next for the head of Syracuse schools? Also arson. Tonight, we learned the cause of a fire on Butternut Street. Two days ago, a Syracuse police re released dramatic surveillance video of the crime at a late day press conference. And it's a scary situation. What could happen to any parent? Children left in the car, they die from the heat. Tonight, tips from health experts to keep your kids safe this summer. From CNY Central, this is NBC3 News at 5. Good evening. Welcome to NBC 3 News at 5. I'm Matt Mulcahy. And I'm Megan Coleman. A lot to get to. And we begin with breaking news out of Ithaca tonight. Just into our newsroom minutes ago, a tractor trailer crashing into a restaurant on the Ithaca Commons around 4 o'clock this afternoon. The breaking news coming in within the last hour. This tractor trailer crashed into Simeon's restaurant on the Commons. It happened just after 4 o'clock this afternoon. The truck went inside the restaurant at the end of the Common and South Aurora Street. You can see on the right side of your screen there is East State Street. There's a big hill that comes down from the Cornell side of town into the campus or into the Commons area. The area where you see that blue dot there, number one, that's the section we're talking about here where Simeon's restaurant is. Now the mayor's office, I just got off with the phone with them moments ago. They say they are expecting multiple injuries. There's concern about that. They say so far no reports of any fatalities. They have also put out a traffic alert for that area saying they want people who are in the Ithaca area tonight don't drive around that end of the commons. Please keep it clear for emergency vehicles as they have a lot of work to do in a building that may be unstable. We're going to continue to follow this story including getting reports from the scene as soon as we get information throughout the next hour and a half. We are back now with the latest in the breaking news we first told you about at the top of the hour about a tractor trailer crash uh, just after four o'clock today in Ithaca. This happened at the Ithaca Commons. A tractor trailer coming down the hill apparently crashed into Simeon's restaurant there on the Ithaca Commons. We do know the truck went inside the restaurant at the end of the Common and South Aurora Street. The Ithaca Voice is a digital online a news source in the community of Ithaca. They're saying right now on Twitter, police on the scene, at least three people have been sent to the hospital, uh, that a man was just crying running towards Simeon's, ignoring the police tape, shouting and swearing. They also go on to describe how people responded just after this took place, that they were smashing out windows of Simeon's with the brick, again, the Ithaca voice on its Twitter feed, uh, showing that some people were rushing in to help with fire extinguishers, uh, implying that there was some fire, at least initially after the crash took place. People were crawling out of windows. We immediately broke the window so people could come out, said one witness on the scene. And here's one picture from the Ithaca voice voice that they posted uh, about uh, well, almost 45 minutes ago now or so. As you see, it was a tractor trailer carrying all those trucks and cars that smashed into that familiar corner of the commons where Simeon's has been for many, many years. Our Alex Rosillo and photographer Quindell Williams are headed to the scene right now to gather new information and bring us some live pictures here. We can tell you the Ithaca Journal is reporting that uh, fire officials there are on the scene. They have been inside the restaurant, perhaps trying to free the driver and any others who were hurt. We do know that medical helicopters have been called to the scene with multiple injuries reported. There is also concern uh, about that building, which apparently was uh, partially leaning after the crash, and it's reportedly unstable. Certainly many, many emergency crews on the scene there uh, working to free anyone who's trapped, bring the injured to the hospital, uh, and maintain the scene there, again, with that building being unstable. Yeah, so once again, we'll follow this information. We have a crew on the way. Serious situation in Ithaca right now at one of their most familiar corners on the Commons. The latest on that coming up at 530. If you're just joining us, we continue to follow breaking news out of Ithaca tonight. A tractor trailer slammed into the popular restaurant Simeon's right on the Commons in Ithaca late today. That's right. It happened within the last hour and a half. We're getting reports the building may be unstable and we are getting word reports of multiple injuries. We'll continue to follow the story for the next hour and on through the evening tonight.
Breaking news out of Ithaca, a tractor trailer carrying a load of cars. A lot of weight there coming down the hill on State Street off the Cornell East Hill has slammed into a popular restaurant, Simeon's and the Ithaca Commons. Here's the damage they're dealing with in Ithaca now for the last almost two hours. We're expecting an update from Ithaca police at the top of the hour. We know there are three people taken to the hospital. We know the driver of the tractor trailer has been taken into custody, not charged with anything, but Ithaca police have him in custody and are asking him questions. We'll have more from the mayor of Ithaca too, coming up as we continue. From CNY Central, this is NBC3 News at 6. Good evening, I'm Matt Mulcahy. I'm Megan Coleman. We continue to follow breaking news out of Ithaca tonight. We look, we've just learned three people have now been hospitalized and the driver of a tractor trailer is in police custody. He has not been charged, but here's the latest. A tractor trailer slammed into a popular restaurant in the Ithaca Commons. And look at this new video just into our newsroom. This uh, vehicle right here just crashed right into the building. It, it looks like it tried to make the turn, I don't know. If anybody's been in Ithaca, driven down that hill before, you know that State Street Hill is pretty severe, and then it comes right into the commons. And as Griffin Carmichael is telling us via the Ithaca Voice, a digital website out of Ithaca, uh, this tractor trailer came right down that hill, lost control, and there's a lot of weight on any tractor trailer that's carrying a load of cars like that. Now, we talked just moments ago to the mayor of Ithaca, Savante Myrick. On days like this, um, you know, my job is a heavy one. Um, but I'll tell you, on days like this, you really, you, you appreciate, if you did before, what the fire department, what the police department, what the EMS, what all these first responders do for you. I mean, uh, their calm, their professionalism. This is my third year in office. I've had the privilege of watching them up close. I have to say that uh, uh, they, they show us the best in ourselves, and uh, they rise to the occasion. That is Ithaca Mayor Svante Myrick uh, just on the phone with us a few minutes ago. Now, to give you a sense of where this is, Simeon's is on the commons at State and Aurora Streets. Police say it could be some time, as long as 12 hours perhaps, before this area is reopened. Now, uh, via the Ithaca Voice on Twitter on this feed we're looking at right now, this is just a few minutes ago. Uh, people have been gathering around this scene uh, by the dozens. Some have been rushing up to Simeon's, screaming and crying and wondering if their loved one might have been inside that building. A very emotional scene, in fact. Uh, people saying that they've been seeing that type of scene. In fact, right after the crash, according again to the Ithaca Voice, people are going up to the building and breaking windows of Simeon's to get people out of there because there was concern concern about the stability of the building. All right, so again, the late breaking details, if you're just now joining us tonight, the breaking news out of Ithaca tonight, the Ithaca Commons, where a tractor trailer has slammed into Simeon's restaurant, actually pushed uh, inside the restaurant, three people taken to the hospital. The driver of the tractor trailer has now been taken into police custody for questioning. He has not been charged at this time. We're expecting a full update from the Ithaca police any minute now. We have a crew on the way to the scene and certainly will be following it on CNY CNYCentral.com and all of our social media, including our CNY Central mobile app throughout the night, pushing out any late developments that we get. Well, we continue to follow breaking news out of Ithaca tonight, a frightening situation on the commons. Tractor trailer apparently out of control, carrying a load of cars, came right down of what was likely coming down State Street. It could have been Aurora. We don't know yet all the full details, but ended up crashing into the corner of where the commons is there, right near that number one, that blue one you see, that building down there. And here's what that building looks like right at this hour. That's the crash scene. I mean, Megan, this was serious damage. People were inside Simeon's when it happened. Yeah, we do know. We do not know exactly how many people were inside, but we do know that uh, three people have been taken to the hospital. No word yet on the extent of their injuries. Uh, the tractor trailer driver is in police custody. They're questioning him about what happened here. No charges filed against him right now. Uh, certainly because of, of the scene right now, uh, they're urging people to stay away from that area. We want to give credit to the Ithaca Voice for their reporting on this, but Right now, the mayor and the police chief are talking to the media. Police and fire and EMS got on scene, started what we refer to as working the scene. That basically just means that try to locate any victims, locate anybody that needs any sort of medical attention first. We can confirm there's been one casualty. From there, we uh, are in the process of trying to determine just exactly what occurred and why it occurred. The operator of the tractor 
uh, is in police uh, headquarters right now. We're in the process of interviewing him, trying to figure out again just exactly what occurred and how it occurred. There are mental health counselors in the area uh, down here at the scene so that uh, they can talk to folks, anybody that needs any sort of assistance or having any sort of grief uh, in regards to what they saw or what, if they were involved in the accident, they're able to assist them. Uh, four people were injured. There may have been a fifth one uh, that responded to a local hospital themselves, but we can't confirm that four people were injured and they were transported to a local hospital. Um, it's a tragedy, of course, what happened. Uh, we're asking that if anybody happened to see anything, if you were at one of the local restaurants, if you were walking in the area, please contact the Ithaca Police Department. We have our commercial motor vehicle, or excuse me, our commercial reconstruction team here, and as well as the New York State Commercial Motor Vehicle Reconstruction Team that's reconstructing what occurred. And uh, again, as soon as we are able to determine how and why the accident occurred, uh, we'll get that right out to you. But as it is right now, we're still just working the scene. We've evacuated uh, the 100 block of North Aurora and the 100, uh, 200 block of East State Street. As you can see the building behind us, uh, it, it's in horrible shape. Uh, the city engineer's office for the city of Ithaca and as well an outside engineering firm are on scene and they're going to evaluate the building and see if it needs to be completely evacuated and if so, for how long. Okay. Does anybody have any questions that I can help with? Are there you have an idea people on the still in the building? Pardon me? Are there still uh, we're evacuating the people that are left in there. To our knowledge, there's not anybody, but there are some apartments we haven't been able to get into or have been unable to get into, so we'll make a determination, uh, you know, if we need to force entry or anything like that at a later date, but anybody that was in harm's way is certainly out of the building now. Any timeline for how long this might stay here? Uh, the building itself is going to be uh, shut down for the foreseeable future. Uh, we, we advise, advise folks to stay away, uh, avoid the scene, even on your morning commute tomorrow. Absolutely. So we don't know how long it'll take, but if you're planning ahead, plan uh, to take a detour around the east end of the commons. Absolutely. Is there any risk of the building collapsing? Yeah, I'll take that. Sure, sure. go ahead. Um, so I'm, I'm Savante, I'm the mayor. There is some risk of the building collapsing. We did bring in a crane. Uh, we have our building inspectors on the scene. They are going to tell us what we need to do to the building to keep it stable. It, we want to save the building if we can. It's beautiful and it's historic, but safety is our number one priority right now. So if we feel that the building is going to collapse, we will take it down ourselves. Are tractor trailers allowed on the street? I know a few years back on Aurora Street there was a horrible accident. Uh, they are allowed. It's a state highway. Uh, so we get quite a lot of tractor trailer traffic coming down 79. Or, or building a barrier or something um, to stop more, you know? I think it's a good, it's a good question. It's a question we're going to have to ask ourselves. And uh, we do have bollards uh, on the commons that would stop something like this. But with a tractor trailer this large, with two decks of cars, um, it's a question we have to ask ourselves once the work is finished here today. Do you have an idea on the victim? Uh, we can't release that yet, pending notification of the family. On the four taken to the hospital, that does not include the fatal? It does not include the fatality. How severe are those injuries? Uh, you know, we never really comment on the severity of the injuries. Um, I can tell you that they're not life-threatening. Um, they uh, were superficial in nature, but again, you know, the specific severity, we don't really go into too many details. It's private information, really, for those folks. Where's the driver? The operator of the vehicle. Uh, he's cooperating with police, and uh, he's in uh, police headquarters. You know, we're interviewing him again in regards to what occurred and how and why it occurred. Uh, but again, most importantly, uh, he's okay, and uh, he's cooperating with police. So, uh, you know, that's that's something great to focus on. Where is the driver from? The truck? Pardon me? Where are the truck and the driver from? I don't know, to be honest with you. Sorry. And can you tell us the fatality? Was it a worker or a, a, or a diner? Uh, we're still going through the process, uh, you know, in, in regards to... You're kind of reconstructing where everybody was and, uh, you know, what their role is or their purpose was inside of the restaurant and outside of the restaurant. We also know that, you know, people scattered from, uh, from the front of the restaurant uh, on the sidewalk, too. So we're still in the process of gathering all of our information, and then we'll make a determination uh, after, uh, after we've evaluated everything. We'll make a determination, uh, you know, on, on who was where and, uh, and what happened during the accident and uh, right before and right after. So were the people seated outside when this happened? Uh, there were people uh, on the sidewalk, but I don't think there were anybody uh, seated uh, in the 100 block of uh, North Aurora or 200 East State. There were construction workers yeah. within feet of the, the vehicle. Yeah. 
circumstances, they were just able to escape injury. Do you confirm reports that people rushed towards Simeon's to help out? I uh, can't confirm reports, but I've been hearing the same thing. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I was, I think, the second uh, police car on scene, and uh, it was a, a great community effort. You know, that's one of the beautiful things about Ithaca is folks coming together. And, uh, you know, during times of, uh, of grief, times of emergency, uh, you know, any time where there's somebody uh, that needs help, Ithaca is first and foremost in line to help that person. And that happened here. Folks uh, right in the immediate area were running over to help out. Uh, they were helping police officers, helping fire and EMS, and that's and that's amazing. Any alcohol, any drugs with the driver? Any What's that, sir? Of alcohol and drugs with the driver? Uh, not at this point, okay. you know. Again, but it's too preliminary. Uh, it's too early to tell on that type of stuff. Well, we learned a lot there from uh, Mayor Svante Myrick and uh, Officer uh, Williamson yeah. from the Ithaca Police Force. Several people injured. One person was killed in this crash here. Yeah, uh, they are calling it a tragedy what happened there. They have evacuated uh, several uh, areas around there. The 100 block of Aurora Street, the 200 block of State Street. City engineers are on the scene right now because uh, that building is uh, considered unstable. They're going to monitor that and see if they need to do any further evacuations in that building. Yeah, it's, it has been a landmark of Ithaca for generations now. And then we did learn one other bit uh, that that the truck did come down Route 79 off the East Hill on State Street right into the Commons onto uh, hitting Simeon's. It was about four o'clock this afternoon. We're going to get you all the latest details throughout the night, pushing it out to you on our CNY Central mobile app with the very latest information. Also, complete coverage with our reporter Alex Rosilla, who's down there. He'll be there on NBC3 News at 11. We'll be back with more.